I'm not going to BS you. Just like any muscle, there's a genetic component whether your leg's starting size is decent or a disappointment. But genetics is just one card and you can work with everything else to change it. Squatting. And if you know me, you know that I'm not a fan. But it would be a lie if I said that I didn't spend years doing it. But since you only care about hypertrophy, so growing your leg size, things are going to be a bit different. I don't care about your one rep maxes. You need to pick a weight that you can do for at least five reps. And that is just the easy part, because the execution is where everything can go wrong. You will murder your quads and glutes, but there is a way to make it less quads and more glutes. But there is no way to take out your glutes to a higher degree, whatever you do. So this is almost like you can either get a benefit or you can just ruin everything. What you will do is, it doesn't matter if you are using a high bar or a low bar setup, you are going to squat all the way down, hamstring to your calves, pushing your knees really forward while maintaining a neutral spine. A neutral spine is a range and you will need ankle mobility and some hamstring mobility. Hip mobility is something you can work around easily, but you can work on all of these in general anyway. But the difficult part is coming up, because you will have to resist your hip shooting up. Because if that happens, all you are going to do is shifting most of the tension on your glutes and spine erectors and taking it off of your quads. It is really easy to give in, but if you manage to learn how to resist that, then you are going to put more tension on your quads, so they are going to get more stimulus to grow and you are also forcing your doctors to work more because that's the only muscle that can get you out of that deeper position anyway. I don't squat all the way to failure because I prefer not unaliving myself but you can get pretty close to failure. But here is the thing, as long as you are progressing in the 5 to 9 rep ranges, that means that you are growing, you are stimulating your muscles to grow. You won't be able to tell apart whether it's your glutes or your quads that's getting the stimulus and growing. But either way, both of them are going to grow as you are progressing the weight. So is it a win-win situation? No, but at least you are getting something. Leg extension. Most of you are already using this machine and it is a foolproof machine. It's really difficult to get it wrong, yet so many of you are using it wrong anyway. Actually, let me correct myself. Most of you are using it wrong, but not how you think it is. Your goal to take the muscle all the way to failure and not to burn it. And if you feel an intense burn, that's not a sign that you are stimulating muscle growth, it is just a byproduct. And by byproduct, you're not getting anything. But here is what you will do keep your foot straight. Turning it in and out against common belief is going to do nothing. It might put some strain on your leg, actually. And you're going to pick a weight that you can only lift for 5 to 9 reps. It is not going to burn, but it's going to be difficult. Yes, it is going to be heavy, but at least you can make sure that you are taking this muscle all the way to failure. And the good part is that you can take it beyond failure. What's the worst thing that can happen? You won't be able to lift the weight. In fact, you won't be able to move the weight, like even just by an inch. And if you can't keep yourself in the seat, then all you have to do is grab a resistance band and wrap it around the two handles. It will act as a belt and it will keep you in the seat or at least assist in keeping you in the seat while you are grabbing it as well. And now, using this, you won't have any excuse not to go heavy because you will be in the seat and now you can take the muscle all the way to failure and grow it. Leg press. Again, an exercise that most of you are using, but then you wonder why your legs are not growing and it is down to how you use it. It is an impressive feat that you can press all the plates in the gym, but for what range of motion? It all comes down to that. Now place your foot a bit lower on the platform, get a stance that allows you to go all the way down without rounding your lower back, and now you just have to go all the way down. The lower your foot is, the more quads you are going to get. Can't go all the way down because of your ankle mobility? Don't worry, let your heel come up. It is not dangerous because you are going to ditch most of the plates anyway and it is going to take you less time to set up the machine and clear the weight because you are going to use less weight and in the meanwhile you can still work on your ankle mobility. And once you lay down all of these foundations you are ready to load it. And again I'm not going to tell you what rep ranges to use because you know that you can build muscle anything in between 5 to 35 but it is easier to make sure that you are taking the muscle close to failure 
if it is in a lower rep range and that has to be at least 5 reps to maximize your growth. Here is the thing, it shouldn't be a burning set, it should be a grueling set that makes you question whether you are going to do another set or you are just going to take a nap. And these are not fancy exercises but doing these this way, all you have to do is change the technique and the intensity, you are going to get way more out of your core training, just free exercises. Don't forget to like, subscribe, talk to you in the next one.